Welcome back. It is 624 right now. SpongeBob is coming to a stage in Wichita. And join us now in studio, Audra Bryant, wearing double duty hats, the director yes. and choreographer. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. When people come, what can they expect? Oh boy, um, lots of jokes. <laughs> expect to laugh, a lot of dancing, a lot of chaos, organized chaos, as we say. Um, it's very fun. High energy, fast paced, but a lot of fun. <laughs> and we know that this performance is put on by Music Theater for Young People. How has it been working with the youth in theater? Oh, it's great. It's, it's, it takes a lot of uh, focus, takes a lot of energy. I definitely think being a director and choreographer, working with youth, you, you have the artistic side of the job, but then you also have being aware of the people you're working with, being aware of where they are, where, what their feelings are, how they're navigating things. You know, how was their day at school? Because if they had a bad day at school, then they're going to come into rehearsal and it's going to be, all right, let's like work through that. Let's try to put that aside, focus on rehearsal. So it's a lot of, it's a lot of kind of wearing multiple hats, being aware of things outside of just the show itself. And it's an outlet for you. Mm -hmm. We get to see a little bit of a, it looks like maybe a dress rehearsal <laughs> right here. Yes. They look phenomenal. Um, <laughs> but this is not anything new for you, not Wichita and not theater. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about your background. Yeah, so I grew up here in Wichita, and I went to East High. I did shows at East. I did shows at M2IP. My first lead role was Sandy in Greece oh. at M2IP, so that that's like the first time I stepped out of the ensemble. So, and then I did uh, shows with Music Theater of Wichita as a teen as well. So yeah, so it definitely got my roots. I think the only reason why I'm in theater is because of doing a show at M2IP. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's it's a big part of my background. <laughs> and now working in the mecca of music theater, living in New York, what can you say you're bringing back from New York mm. to people here in Wichita? Oof, um, I definitely think kind of uh, work ethic, working really, you know, I, I definitely run my rehearsals a, a little bit like a football practice. <laughs> we're, we're, we're working hard, we're not, you know, I mean, yes, we're singing and dancing and it's, and it's fun and, and, and it's a great way to express, but like, you know, we, we, have, we have a job to do, we have a lot of, uh, you know, there's a lot of moving parts, props, and, you know, ensemble members running around stage, moving set pieces, doing their choreography, singing, but also making sure this prop is heading to this actor at this moment. So, so it's, it's, it's a lot of, I think, I think I bring a lot of, you know, like focused, detailed work that, um, you know, to help kind of make the show, the show off. And you mentioned a, a couple of minutes ago, organized chaos for people yes. not familiar with theater. There's a lot that goes into it, so yes. a lot of organization. Yeah. And the show kicks off this weekend. It's going to mm -hmm. be at Century 2. Tickets are just $15. Yes, yeah, come on down. Uh, thanks so much for being here with us today. Thank you. All right, and Rhino Williams is going to get us out the door.